Hi guys, welcome back to another model price video. My name is Ryan Hoagland. Today we have a how-to video, how to set up PID9918, the HD Stream Gigabit Dual Band Wireless Router. Nowadays, it seems like everything uses 2.4 GHz band. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wireless phones, remote controls, etc. The 2.4 GHz band is getting crowded and slowing with all these systems competing for the bandwidth. Speed up your Wi-Fi internet access to where it should be with this concurrent dual band wireless gigabit router from Monoprice. This router relieves the crowding on 2.4 GHz band by adding second channel at 5 GHz. Your existing 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi equipment can still connect at 2.4 GHz, while your newer Wi-Fi equipment will be able to connect at the 5 GHz band. This router includes 3 gigabit ports for direct connections and one dedicated IPTV port, which provides bandwidth for video streaming devices. Wirelessly, it provides up to 300 megabits per second throughput on each of the two wireless bands at the same time for a total of 600 megabits per second. The router combines the functions of a wireless access point, router, switch, and firewall. The router supports a number of advanced features, including support for guest network, hidden, invisible SSID, and Mac-based access control. Wireless access can be easily configured using the WPS one-touch setup procedure. The features of this router include, complies with IEEE 802.11a, 802.11b, 802.11g, 802.11n, 802.3, and 802.3u standards. Works on 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands simultaneously. Includes three 10, 100, 1000 megabit per second RJ45 ports for wired connection, otherwise known as gigabit ports. Includes a dedicated IPTV port with prioritized bandwidth for streaming devices. Functions as a wireless access point router, switch, and firewall, supports domain name, MAC, and IP address filtering, supports WEP, WPA, PSK, WPA2, PSK, and WPA and WPA2-PSK security protocols, supports guest network, includes support for Wi-Fi protected setup, otherwise known as WPS, supports Wi-Fi multimedia, WMM streaming priority, supports SNTP, WDS, UPnP, DDNS, and DMZ. Now let's set up this router. The first thing you need to do is connect one end of the included power adapter to the router and then plug the other end into the wall outlet nearby. The lights of the router will turn on. Connect one of the LAN ports on the router to the NIC port on the PC using an Ethernet cable. Then connect the Ethernet cable from the internet side on the WAN port on the router. You can install this product using iOS or Windows computers. The process will be the same. Check the instructions manual for more details. Go into your web browser and enter in ping 192.168.0.1, then press enter. The default settings will appear. Type in admin in the boxes, then click login. If you see this window, you did okay. Then go on the top right corner and click advanced button. Here you go, here's the settings page. On the left side of the page, you will have menu options. Click wireless, then click basic. Rename your 5G and 2.4G networks. In this case, we are going to name it monoprice test. Then click save. Select the mixed security mode option, then set up the passwords. The default passcode is 12345678. But wanted to have a different passcode? The new passcode will be 12345678.90. Then click save. Click the 2.4G band button to set up the passcode for that specific band. And do the same thing for 5G. Then click the tools button and click the username and password to change the name and password of the router. Type in the old username and password, which is admin admin, then type in the username and password of your preference, then click save. Now your new passcode has been set up. To access the settings of your router, you will need to type in the new passcodes. Then click the advanced button, then click the tools button on the menu bar. Then click the reboot button, and OK. Then the system will start rebooting the router and you're ready to go. OK, I hope you guys like this video. My name is Ryan, and I'll see you guys next time.